I love Catherine. Reese Witherspoon refuses Meg point blank countless times, confirmed Kate's huge fan. Reese Witherspoon says Kate Middleton gave her royal fever despite previously being immune. Meghan Markle has allegedly been cut ties by a number of A-listers due to all sorts of reasons. Woman's Day claimed that Markle is no longer friends with Reese Witherspoon. The A-listers falling out started way back in 2018 when Witherspoon allegedly declined Markle's invitation to attend her royal wedding to Prince Harry. A source also claimed that Markle tried to give Witherspoon another chance when she pitched an idea for a project for her company, but the actress once again said no. Moreover, Meghan used to give money to tabloids to write stories with Witherspoon. According to a fanciful story, Witherspoon has been quietly penning a show that she would love Meghan to be part of and Meghan was keen to explore the opportunity further. According to the Burgess Report, Witherspoon wrote to the Duchess of Sussex and asked her to meet up. There is a lot to unpack with the article. For starters, Witherspoon isn't a writer. She is a wildly successful actress and producer, but she has no history of penning anything, as the article suggests. Secondly, while this supposed tipster seems to know all the details of the meeting between Witherspoon and Markle, right down to what flavor muffins they ate, the source knows next to nothing about this alleged project Witherspoon is writing. The details of this story are not just flimsy, they're mostly non-existent. On the contrary, Reese Witherspoon is a big fan of Kate. The actress opens up about her 2011 meeting with Kate Middleton in her new book, Whiskey in a Teacup, for Marie Claire. Although Witherspoon claimed she was relatively immune from the obsession with the royals, that all changed when she was about to come face to face with the then newly wed at a reception to mark the launch of Tusk Trust's U.S. Patrons Circle in Santa Barbara, California. The scream that issued from my lips upon receiving the invitation, you would have thought I was going to die, writes Witherspoon. I wake up early, mind you, but on that day I was up at 4 a.m. doing my hair. That's early even for me. She continued, I've never seen you this excited, my husband said. He wasn't kidding. The star shared that there were rays of happiness shooting out of my face in photos taken by her husband, Jim Toth, during the ride over to the event. I love Kate Middleton that much, she wrote. And she did not disappoint. She was just lovely and warm, elegant and composed, with a spoon writes. She also told a joke, and I immediately fell under her spell. She's just as magnificent as she seems to be. She's a very compassionate, socially conscious, deeply caring person. Witherspoon also recognized that Kate's place in the public eye isn't easy. It takes a very special person to decide to commit to that kind of life, to choose to be under public scrutiny every moment, writes the actress. Now that she's in that position, her entire life is in service, forever. I am so in awe of that kind of dedication. You can see Kate is adored by a lot of big stars which is the opposite of Meghan who is often rejected. Other than Witherspoon, Markle has also allegedly fallen out with Michelle Obama. When the Duke and Duchess of Sussex first moved to Los Angeles, Markle allegedly had plans to buddy up with the Obamas. However, it didn't take her long to realize that the Obamas don't want anything to do with her. After all, they weren't even invited to Barack Obama's 60th birthday celebration. Markle has also allegedly ended her friendship with her former best friend, Jessica Mulroney. Mulroney was involved in a racism scandal. And multiple tabloids claim that Markle froze her out because of this. However, Mulroney was quick to defend the Duchess of Sussex by saying that she has been nothing but supportive during that difficult time. But the tabloid pointed out that Mulroney didn't greet Markle publicly on her birthday this year. And this is allegedly more than enough proof that the two are no longer friends. Markle also cut ties with Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom after watching the first installment of The Prince on HBO Max. Markle wasn't impressed with how Bloom's character mocked the Duke of Sussex in the animated show.